Hey, what's going on, guys? Norski here. In this video, I'm comparing the Subslaughter 1906 factory to the RSC 1917 factory to see which gun is better based on each gun's current weapon statistics as of this video being made, and my personal thoughts on what I think of these two guns. Starting off with the Subslaughter 1906 factory, this gun is located in the meta class, and it can be unlocked when you reach rank 10 in the meta class using 200 war bonds. There are two variants for this gun, and they are the Factory variant and also the Sniper variant, which was recently added into the game not too long ago. The Self Slaughter 1906 Factory holds 5 rounds in its magazine and 65 rounds on reserve. Specifically, this gun actually has a 5 round strip clip. The reload time when the strip is empty is 0.7 seconds, and when it's not empty, the reload time varies depending on how many bullets you have left in your strip. It takes 0.45 seconds per bullet you need to reload. So the quickest way to reload this gun is to shoot your magazine completely empty. Now this gun has a max damage output of 40, which is honestly very weak, especially for only a 5 round magazine. Only the autoloading extended and the Che Rigatti have weaker max damage outputs in the meta class. The Subslaughter 1906 factory has a minimum damage output of 35, which means this gun is always a 3 shot kill at any range or distance. Only the RSC 1917 has a higher minimum damage output in the meta class. This gun would be so amazing if it ever became a two-shot kill. Now the Subslaughter 1906 is actually a pretty accurate gun, especially at medium range. It can hold its own at close range because of its decent rate of fire. It's also fairly good at long range too. As for its overall control, it has really low left and right recoil ratings and are actually the lowest among all meta class guns. The highest recoil rating is actually its upward recoil, which is surprisingly not very noticeable still. What makes this gun more accurate than most meta guns is its tight bullet spread. It has some of the best overall bullet spread ratings in the meta class. The Sub Slaughter 1906 has a rate of fire of 299 rounds per minute, which is actually one of the quicker fire rates in the meta class. In fact, the only meta gun that has a faster rate of fire is the Auto Loading 8. The Sub Slaughter 1906's rate of fire is also tied with the M1907 SL and the Che Rigatti. This gun also has a fairly high muzzle velocity rating of 800 meters per second. The major downfalls of this gun are definitely its damage ratings and its small magazine capacity. This gun is obviously not a room clear and it's meant for one-on-one -on -one engagements. The Sub Slaughter 1906 has been considered the worst gun in the game by many people for a long time. Actually since the game has been released it's been considered one of the worst. But I'm here to tell you it's actually not that bad of a gun. I honestly always have a lot of fun when I use this gun. In fact, if this gun ever became a two-shot kill, it would probably be considered one of the best medic guns. Actually, probably one of the best guns in the game. That's how close it is to being an amazing weapon. Overall, this gun has good range and amazing control and accuracy, but the max damage output and the magazine capacity really bring this gun down a lot. So my overall rating for the Sub Slaughter 1906 Factory is a 6.9 out of 10. Moving on to the RSC 1917 Factory, this gun is located in the medic class and is unlocked by getting 50 kills with the M1907 SL Sweeper and you also have to make 50 revives. The RSC 1917 Factory has two variants and they are the Factory and the Optical. The RSC 1917 Factory holds 6 rounds in its magazine and 54 rounds on reserve. The reload time with ammo left is 2.7 seconds and when the magazine is empty it takes 3.3 seconds to reload. So this gun is noticeably slower at reloading but it does hold one more round in its magazine so that kind of balances themselves out. The RSC Factory has a max damage output of 53 which is the highest max damage output among all medic guns. Its minimum damage output is a rating of 38 which is also the highest in the medic class. So between 0 and 47 meters out, this gun is a 2 shot kill, and from 40 meters and beyond, this gun is a 3 shot kill. So this gun possesses a ton of power. Now it can kill up to a maximum of 3 enemies per reload, when the Sub Slaughter 1906 can only kill a maximum of 1 enemy per reload. This gun also has amazing accuracy from medium and long range. I would not recommend using this gun at close range because its rate of fire is miserably slow. As for this gun's control, well that's where this gun lacks. 
The RSC factory has really high recoil ratings compared to the Self Slaughter 1906. In fact, the RSC factory has twice the amount of upward recoil and over 10 times the amount of left and right recoil compared to the Self Slaughter 1906 factory. The RSC factory actually has the worst recoil ratings in the meta class and it's not even close. You can really feel the recoil when you're using the RSC factory and it takes a little bit of time to adjust to it. The overall bullet spread is also noticeably worse than the Sub Slaughter 1906 factory. The RSC factory has the slowest rate of fire in the meta class at a sluggish 163 rounds per minute. The next slowest rate of fire among meta guns is the Sub Slaughter M1916 at 224 rounds per minute. Generally speaking, almost any gun engagement inside of 15 meters you'll most likely lose just because of the slow rate of fire. Its muzzle velocity ring is pretty average at 720 meters per second. Now the RSC 1917 factory is so much more powerful than the rest of the medic guns with a crazy high 53 max damage output. It also is amazingly accurate from any range or distance once you get used to its recoil. Speaking of its recoil, that is one of the gun's major weaknesses which makes this gun much more difficult to control than the Self Slaughter 1906 factory. It also has a ridiculously slow rate of fire, which is probably its biggest downfall in my opinion. Overall, I like using this gun, and it plays much different than the rest of the meta guns, but I feel this gun's rate of fire and overall control, and also its small magazine capacity are the main reasons why its overall rating are going to drop. I'm going to give the RSC 1917 Factory a rating of 6.7 out of 10. I personally think the Self Slaughter 1906 Factory is better than the RSC 1917 Factory, mainly because the Self Slaughter 1906 Factory is just a much more well rounded gun than the RSC Factory. The Self Slaughter 1906 is just much more balanced with every major statistical category, and I like the overall control and also the much faster rate of fire this gun has over the RSC 1917 Factory. Now, what gun do you guys prefer between the two? Let me know in the comments. Anyways, thanks for watching, hit the like button if you enjoy, and also feel free to subscribe if you're new to my channel. Thanks again guys, and I'll catch you later.